Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 24 of Build the Terminator. The Terminator, week by week, built the T-800, the killing machine that defined a generation. Easy to build with high quality metal components. You can control sound, lights, articulated limbs and LED eyes and explore the Terminator universe. Build the Terminator, issue one, just $1.99. Back to my channel and thank you for tuning in again for another episode of Build the Terminator. Um, as I said in the last issue, we're now moving on to 24, which is um, assembling the hand to the uh, lower arm, so that'll be the forearm. So there's not too much to do today, um, but I'm really excited because we're getting closer to connecting it to the upper arm slash shoulder, um, so we can have a fully completed arm with hand, and then I should be able to put the gun in the hand and see how that looks for you guys. Because um, obviously I've seen other guys who are working on the build have already done that. Um, I am still a little bit behind, but I am trying to keep play catch up. But anyway, let's get started. So just uh, before we get started, just gonna run through the, uh, the parts we're using today. So obviously we've got the hand, the completed right hand. That's from issue 15 and previous issues. So that's done. Um, then obviously moving to the uh, your right, um, we have the forearm. So that's obviously from uh, issue 16. Then uh, moving on to the actual new parts. So this part here is the uh, right shoulder plate. And then uh, these two little uh, components, they are the uh, ball joints. So you've got uh, each one, you've got A and B. Um, moving to the uh, the right of it, or my left, shall I say, um, we have part 24-4, which is the right hand muscle connector. Um, so these are, these are just plastic, by the way. Um, so you have to be very careful when cutting those out. The plate is metal and also the uh, the ball joints are plastic. Then you've got some screws. So here we've got two KB 2x6mm screws and also uh, one PB 2x6mm screws. You need some super glue as always. I have got Loctite here. Um, I run out of my other one and have to use this but I do know that it's causing some problems with the metal um, like eating away at it, corroding. So I'm going to be very careful not to use too much. Um, because I've seen some people comment on that and I know what it can do, it's, it's, it's quite powerful stuff so I wouldn't really advise it. Um, this is just an emergency, so I have to use it. And also some screwdrivers. So steps one to four, rather simple really. So you're gonna take the, the two halves here, uh, 24 two and 24 three, and fit them together. Like so, nice and simple. And once you've done that, you're gonna take one of your uh, PB screws, that's a two times six millimeter. You know it's a PB because it has a slightly rounder head, um, whereas the KB is flat uh, and more square-like, whereas this one is a lot more circular. So once you've got that, just screw that into position, like so. Obviously not too tight because it is plastic, but tight enough that it's not gonna move because we want a nice secure hand. Okay, once that's done, you're going to take the hand and you're going to align the, the newly assembled uh, ball joint, the larger one, to the hand. So you'll see there's a hole here, the last one, so it's quite simple. You're just gonna push that through. Put that into position. And then from the other side, just spin it round. This is gonna be a bit tricky, but should get there. You're gonna take your KB screw, the two times six millimeter, and you're gonna screw that through the other side. So you just need to hold that into position. Once you've got the screw in, you just wanna screw that home to get that new new ball joint in position. switch my screwdrivers sometimes the other one's better and there you go so that is the new ball joint which has been connected onto the end. We can now move on to the next stages where we connect the lower arm to the hand. 
So step six to nine, the much more trickier part. Um, now obviously we've got the completed hand with the, uh, the ball joints. You're gonna take the lower arm assembly and you'll see there are uh, obviously the smaller, the smaller uh, springs here and the larger one. So obviously for the largest ball socket, that's gonna go in the big one and then the three uh, smaller ones in the corresponding parts. So it's advised to put a little bit of super glue onto the end of the ball joints. So I'm gonna put a little bit onto the big one first, just to help lock it in. It does say that it is a push pit connection, so you need a little bit of force just to get those two to, to connect well. But again, take care to not overdo it because they are fragile parts and you don't want to break them at this stage. So I'm going to be very careful when putting this in. Okay, there you go, you would have heard that click then. So that's in there secure. I'm just going to leave it for, for a minute just so it the super glue helps to solidify those two. You'll see my hand is a bit mangled at the moment, but I will readjust that after. Okay, and then I'm just gonna flip that over. As I mentioned, the other parts will connect into the, uh, the smaller ball joints there. So I'm gonna do the same as before and I'm going to use a little bit of glue on the end of each one to help secure them and do one at a time. Another thing to mention about the springs is that you should not let them overlap because these are going to be threaded through the, uh, the little holes of the hand, which we'll get to soon. So let's start with the first one. As you can see, it's already starting to look like a proper ramen hand now. It's really cool starting to remind me of the first Termina Terminator where his arm was left at the end of the film. So let's push that one into position. Okay, so that's all three um, springs connected. So you see that's how it should look. They've all been uh, clipped in and super glued. So now I'm going to thread the, uh, the, the little tendons or ligaments, can we call them, through, through the little holes that you'll see uh, through the hand. I think if you could just make out, there's some little holes there. We're gonna thread those springs through there. So I'm just gonna crack on with that now. As I mentioned, make sure you don't let them overlap. This bit will be a little bit fiddly. Okay, that's the first two, and then just move on to the other two. Okay, so for the final steps, uh, we have first of all steps 10, 11. So you'll see here I've got some glue, so I just need a little bit of glue and the toothpick for precision. And I've cut out already the little um, four connector parts from the frame. So what you wanna make sure is that you leave a long part. Um, there should be, if you can see that, um, it's just quite long on the end because that's what you're going to be uh, flattening down and the chunky part of the top actually clips uh, clips down into position so that's going to hold the the springs that's going to hold the springs down so for this part it's going to be very tricky be very careful you're going to have to pull the springs hold them into position and glue them whilst you do that so i'm just going to do that now so the connector peg as i mentioned you put a little bit of glue on it 
and then you're actually going to thread that through the uh, the spring because there's a hole for it so you thread that through so that stays into the spring so you should see that now so as the little connector I threaded that through just gonna let that dry for a second once you've done that you're then going to add some more glue to the um, the actual hole so you'll see there's a little hole there um, and that connector part is going to go into there and, and hold it down essentially so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue into the recess into the hole and then I'm going to push the spring pull the spring and push it down and hold it into place So that's just being held down now. We'll let that hold, uh, we'll let that connect for a moment or two. Okay, and then you see that's the first one that has been locked down. So that's nice and secure. I didn't use too much glue, but just enough. So then you just repeat that process um, for, you repeat 11 steps, 11 to 12. For all so this part here where I'm connecting the pegs in is, uh, is actually step 14. This is the final stage. So this is one of the most trickiest parts. So don't rush it. Take your time because you don't want the springs to break. Okay, so after a bit of difficulty, um, it was quite fiddly. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do all the springs because uh, one of them just literally wouldn't, wouldn't stick. So I've had to uh, slightly modify it. So it is completed. As you can see, I'm just going to move the fingers around a bit so you can see. So all the springs are in apart from one. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. You won't be able to see it because I've cut, I've cut it down. So that is that issue complete. So thanks for tuning in to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, obviously, it was a little bit fiddly, but we got there in the end. So now the hand is really starting to come on along with the arm. And I've had a look forward in the issues and issue 26 is where we actually uh, join the shoulder and elbow joint. So this will be a fully completed arm. So that's going to be really cool. And I'm going to I'm going to play around with it with um, with the gun. So, yeah, really happy of that. So anyway, moving on to next week's episode, uh, we're going to be assembling the right shoulder. So this is the uh, this is the final part before we go on to 26, like I said, and work on connecting all the arm uh, and the elbow and hand together. So there's uh, there's not much to do, as you can see, it's just gonna be this component here that we'll be, we'll be uh, finishing off, and then we can move on to the others. I did mention before about issue 27, that still hasn't been sent to me, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna have to skip issue 27, um, and then obviously crack on with the others. So I have from 28 to 34. So this was um, issue 24, I'm going to do 25 and 26 next. That will be the end of these parts here. Then we move on to the left side of the shoulder and arm and also the vertebra from what I've seen. So that's also quite exciting. But anyway, guys, um, if you haven't, please do like the video um, and also subscribe. I know a lot of people, you can just watch videos, but it really does help if you sign up to uh, YouTube to get a channel um, and subscribe. Obviously, if you do that as well, you will get notifications. So when I upload new videos, whether it's the Terminator, sports commentary, my training, or wherever it may be, um, obviously, if you are interested, that's how you're going to see. So uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you soon for episode 25.